My name is Susan Hiller, and I'm an artist based in London. Well, actually, there were, but I didn't know about them because nobody knew about the very good women artists of the 70s until the 90s. That's why there are so many very old women now being celebrated as great artists because they were neglected in the 70s. Certainly they were there, but of course they weren't well known, so I didn't know about them. Uh, how was it to be a woman artist? Well, the problem for every artist is basically to define who they are and what their work is going to be. That is, gender has nothing to do with that. It's more difficult if you are female in our society because there haven't been a strong history of women artists. But that's also a great privilege because it gives you a lot to do. There's a lot of stuff that hasn't been done that you can do. And I think the fact that now, at least in the UK and the United States, the majority of young artists are women shows that the repression that previously existed had a lot to do with this lack of a history. And now that there is a history, it's not so difficult. But it, that doesn't mean it isn't difficult, but it's not as difficult as it once was. And all the discussions around feminism and gender and uh, sensibility and so forth, self-expression, the body, all those arguments have been made public. So there's a wealth of references for women artists. I don't believe that women artists do work that's, femin that's fem female, it doesn't have to be feminine. I think that's a big mistake that there used to be, that if you did a certain kind of work as a woman, it was not any good because it was too feminine. Or if you didn't, then you were working like a man, and that wasn't good either. But I think all those ideas are too old-fashioned now. Nobody takes them seriously. Well, this forthcoming documenta is going to be very different because the political issues of the moment are not just going to be art issues. It's got to do with the conditions in Greece and Germany. They're putting the two together. And they're producing, you know, have you seen these amazing books they're producing called South? The whole concept is South. What is South, you know? And I've done this language piece, which is at the Paris Museum, which was, it's a second language work that I've done. The first one I did was eight years ago, um, and that was shown at the Berlin Biennale, which happened to be you know, curated by Adam Simchuk. Anyway, he's doing the documenta. The Adam and I go back years. I did shows in Poland at the old Foxel Gallery. You know. okay. It's interesting that you think that documenta still has this importance, and I find that very, very positive, and I'm very glad to hear it because I have the impression that. The situation in the art world is now that many of the money people don't have a clue what Documenta is. They'll go to Venice, they won't go to Documenta. And there's an anecdote told by a very important gallerist, I won't say who, who has galleries, several galleries, one in London, but mainly in New York and also on the continent. And he was explaining in a newspaper article the difference between being a gallerist now and in the 70s or 80s and the kind of clients that he has. And he said, for example, he was talking to a very respected art collector about one of the gallery artists and he was saying he was so happy because this artist X was going to be in Documenta. And this collector said, what's Documenta? I mean, if you're talking about art, any art that gets named radical, I think, is a kind of conventional category. It's like saying political art or something. Unless you're talking about radical form, I don't know what that would be nowadays. Honestly, I have no idea. If anything has been possible since the 70s, and I really haven't seen anything 
that didn't have its origin in the 70s, to be honest. But maybe I'm just not seeing it. Uh, I don't know what radical means to me either. I think artists just do what they do, and if what they do turns out to be called radical, it does. I'm always suspicious of people who make claims for their own work by saying, my work is very radical. I never believe that.